Hey everybody, I'm Jim and this is Ricky. In this video, we're gonna talk about what to do when you have too much traffic for your Bluehost account, or you just feel like you're kind of outgrowing it and ready to move on the next thing. This is a question that we get frequently because we do recommend Bluehost, and at the same time, if you check, you'll see that our website is not hosted on Bluehost, and so why do we recommend Bluehost? Yeah. Um, well, when it turns, uh, we start all of our websites Every on website. Bluehost. Yep. Every time we start a new website, it's on Bluehost because you can have as many as you want. It's yeah. unlimited. Yeah, <laughs> it's so keep this in, if you're going to sign up for Bluehost, don't sign up for the lowest plan because that only holds one website. Mm -hmm. For like an extra dollar a month, mm -hmm. you can host unlimited websites, unlimited traffic. And you're going to need it, it because when yeah. you start your blog, you're going to have all kinds of ideas. You'll start working on a website, get halfway through it, and you'll be like, Ooh, I thought of another cool niche site. Yeah. And then you can just go register the domain, yeah, 12 chuck bucks. it on your Bluehost account, and then when you're ready for it, after you've built up the one, you can start on the next. Yep. I, I mean, I don't know how many I have on now, but there have been times that I've had like 60 domain <laughs> names on my Bluehost account. It's where all websites start. Yeah. But once they hit critical mass and I'm getting significant traffic, let's call it, I don't know, maybe 15,000 page views a month, I'm going to start wondering if we're about ready to start moving over to something bigger. Not that Bluehost is going to kick you off. Nope. You can still do fine there. But, uh, you know, something you can get hosts that are definitely faster. Um, and you want a host that's going to help you if you get, you know, a big flood of traffic because of post went viral or something. You need a host that can really handle that. And Bluehost is fine for starting a blog. It will rank on Google. It'll load just oh, yeah, fine. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, we've done it tons of times starting on Bluehost. That's uh -huh. what we always do. But at some point, I don't know, maybe 15, 20,000 page views a month, I start wondering, all right, maybe it's time to move this over to a big boy server. Yeah. So... When we talk about Big Boy Server, um, there's one that we use in Income School. That's where we host Income School. It's called WP Engine. Okay, awesome. one word. WP Engine. They do a fantastic job. Um, it makes... It's it's funny. When we're working on Income School, kind of on the back end, writing posts and stuff, um, and you know you have to change to another page or whatever, and, and it refreshes, it's so much faster to work on that than it is on Bluehost. Mm -hmm. um, I can feel it. When I'm in the back end of the site, you can feel it's yeah. faster. So... So it's been worth it for us, but there there are definitely some trade-offs, okay? So part of the reason that we don't just start out on WP Engine is that it's significantly more expensive yeah, than Bluehost. Yeah, it's a lot more. Okay? Yeah. So for Bluehost, um, just kind of round numbers, you know, you're paying about 100 bucks a year for unlimited sites, okay? Mm -hmm. So I have a Bluehost account. I can put 20 sites on there, um, and it's pretty inexpensive. WP Engine, the cost for a single website is um, something like $290 a year. Okay, about three times as much, and that's only for one website. Um, you you want to do more than one website on your WP Engine account. The next level up, either you pay another two hundred ninety dollars a year, or you you upgrade to their next level, which is about um, ninety nine dollars a month. It is pricey. So it's it's pricey. What we found though is that for our websites, we believe that it's worth it once mm -hmm. they get to that point of critical mass, just because the experience um, is a lot better mm -hmm. for our users. Um, they can handle that traffic. Um, and when there's an issue, they're really, really good about, um, not that, I mean, Bluehost service has been fantastic. Yeah, I've heard, we were talking about this the oh, other this day. This is crazy. We've heard a number of people say, oh, I don't like Bluehost because of their customer service. We've called into Bluehost customer service numerous times. I've been on their been chat. Awesome. I can't like, tell you how many really times. Really knowledgeable every time I talk to them in five minutes. And I was thinking, yeah, what does Phil complain about? Yeah. I thought I think their customer service is great. I I'd heard that some some people had said, you know, why are you recommending Bluehost? Um, I read a bunch of reviews from people that said that their customer service is awful, um, their sites don't work well. I'm like, we've built that's a load of crap. Tons. It's garbage. You can't trust anybody, maybe not even us, <laughs> when you're looking for hosting reviews. Because yeah. everybody is just chasing an affiliate commission. That's true. And when you just Google it, you cannot find legitimate information. So we have had dozens and dozens of websites on a number of different hosts. Mm -hmm. And I've been a Bluehost customer since 2006. Yeah. I've been a Bluehost customer, paying customer. And I still use them for every website I start. 
starts on Bluehost, yep. and once it gets big enough, then I'll you know graduate over to WP Engine. Um, coincidentally, I switched my my biggest site, ImprovePhotography.com, gets an incredible amount of traffic to that website. Uh, I s used to use Web Synthesis, and then last week I switched it over to WP Engine. It has a 46% faster server response time. And uh, Web Synthesis is no slouch, it's a very good server. Um, but uh, much faster, the page load times knocked off a, a second, and I did make some other changes at the same time, but not massive. Um, and really, WP Engine really did beat it out. I was skeptical. Uh, but it it really did a very nice job, and so I'm sold. Small host, small site, Bluehost, big site. Go to WP Engine. Now another thing to look at when you're when you're trying to find the right host for your website is not just the speed and the price and everything else, but also the interface you have um, in the cPanel. That's what I didn't like about Web Synthesis is that it's all managed, no cPanel. You just email them and they fix whatever. But I didn't like that because what happens when the server goes down at 2 a.m. Um, and you email back and forth and back and forth and there's no number you can call and just get this done in five minutes. You gotta keep emailing back and forth. I didn't like that at all. Um, I like WP Engine. You can get to a person faster and Bluehost. Get to a person yep. fast 24-7. Yeah. Um, also, automated backups. Um, oh, yeah. Backup is a big deal. Uh, it's something you don't really think about when you're starting because you're like, it's on the cloud. My website's safe. <laughs> and then you make a mistake and your website's gone and you're like, I just lost six months of my life. Yep. It's gone. See ya. <laughs> and if it's not backed up, it is gone. Mm -hmm. There's no recovering that. So you have to be careful. Uh, you know, WP Engine, I, I would say WP Engine is the best backup, has the best backup system. I actually went and looked at our backups like today. For some mm -hmm. reason I was in, I was in our cPanel and I looked at it and I saw that they had a backup basically for every day mm -hmm. that as you know as far back as I looked yep. I'm like they they backed up this morning they backed up yesterday morning and I use it all the time because uh -huh. sometimes I'll do something the whole website is I get blank pages and stuff and it's like and you know you try to load the site and it just says internal error and I'm like ah! <laughs> and I'll do I, the first you thing I do remember, is I just go I you can go just do it yourself or I just call them and be like yeah. go back to yesterday <laughs> I wish I never woke up and just in minutes your it's website bad. is exactly what it was yesterday that's what you need if you're gonna have a business on it like it it's insane to run a blog and not have solid backups because things will happen absolutely yep. I will say Bluehost doesn't guarantee unless you're paying for that service because you can pay for backup service on Bluehost um, unless you're paying for it, they don't guarantee that they have constant backups for you. But they do. But in my experience, <laughs> they do. Uh -huh. So even if you're not paying for it and you're like, hey, uh, I just screwed this up and I need to go back to yesterday, they will do it. They do it. And it, if, it's yeah. worth backing it up yourself. Sure. But they, they got it. <coughs> so they got your back on it. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Uh, those are the ones we use. I, I will say that I have tried many others. Uh, every time I'm like, oh, can I save a little money on the server or whatever, I'll try uh, different places. And some of them are just an absolute nightmare. Uh, I, I mean, you really, there are some bad hosting companies out there, even ones that you see recommended all the time uh, because they have good affiliate commissions and they're just terrible. Uh, terrible because you know everything will run fine. It'll f load fine. The C panel's great. You like it, and then your post goes viral one day on Facebook, and wham, your server shuts down. Can't handle the traffic, and you just lost the best opportunity your blogs ever have. That's the opposite had. of what you want to happen uh, when your post goes viral. <laughs> uh, it's the worst. I've had that happen a lot of times actually, and it's just so frustrating because you work every day to get there, and then it's gone. Well, that's it. Those are uh, blogs. Uh, in the comments here, we're going to have links to our affiliate links to Bluehost and also to WP Engine. If you would just go click on them, uh, because a lot of times with those affiliate links, they will give special offers to the people who have just those links. I know uh, Bluehost has one right now. Mm -hmm. um, so just go click them, because then if you do end up buying one, it'll give us our affiliate commission. Yes. Um, but also, it, they do have some good deals uh, for you if you uh, buy through uh, buy through those. And those are just our honest recommendations. You can check every website we own. It's either on WP Engine or it's on Bluehost. Yep. 
All right. Thanks, everybody. Good luck with your server and uh, good luck building your blog.